Hello, I'm Dave Speakman. Welcome back to my beginner guitar course. Today we're going to look at the Adele song, Hello. It's a bit of a longer song, this, than we've done previously, so it should be interesting. We're going to use a capo today, just a little device that we put on the guitar, and the capo goes at fret one for this tune. One of the things that I see people doing with capos, which I think is a bit of a mistake, is that they tune the guitar and then they put the capo on and then they don't tune the guitar again. And that can sometimes lead to some tuning problems. So I would advise that you tune your guitar, put the capo on, but then give it a quick tune up again just to make sure that it's in tune. A few little considerations in this tune. We've now got these directions for geography in the song, essentially. I don't know whether you've seen these before. It's this bit here at the end of the first page where it says DC Alcoda. And it actually says no repeat in brackets underneath, which strictly speaking, we don't need that because we don't repeat when we do coders. But sometimes it's a good idea when people write parts to say whether they want the repeats or not, just to make it clear usually you wouldn't do the repeats. So DC stands for de capo, which literally means the head. I think it's Italian. Most of these expressions are Italian because written music was conceived initially by the monks. So we go to the top, DC, al coda, to the coda. So the coda is the ending. So we go DC, back to the top, to the head, and then it says al coda, which means to the ending, okay? Now the ending is marked with a target at the end, but we don't go till there until it says in the music to coda, and you can see this here. So what we will do is we will play through the first page, including any repeats that are written, and then we'll go back to the start without any repeats, and then when it says to coda, we're going to jump over to the target. And that's, that's where we carry on from. We carry on from that target symbol. So in other, in other words, we're going to do the first page. We're going to repeat the first page up to to coda, and then we're going to move on to page two. The other thing that you'll notice with this song is that it's been written with the chord symbols above the minim on beat two, but these minims are tied to a preceding quaver. You occasionally see this, it's a bad way of writing it out, but I've intentionally written it out this way because that's the way that you see it sometimes. What you actually do in this case is you do push the second chord. It's called pushed when we're playing on the and of the beat before, so actually the rhythm's going, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and... and it's a rhythm that we've covered in earlier lessons. Please do go back to an earlier lesson here and have a look if you're not sure what the rhythm is. We're taking on board quite a few chords that we've already learned. I'm just going to show you them without the capo just for now so that they actually are the code that's written. So we've got E minor. G, D, remember with D that we only want to start on the fourth string because that's the note that the chord's named after, D, the root of the chord, C, and then we've got another new chord, B minor 7. You can see actually B minor seven is almost like a D shape with these three fingers, and then we put the note B underneath it. Shall have a quick look through the tune. I don't think there's any other chords that we need. No, that's it. There is a rhythm that catches students of mine out, and it's the rhythm at bar 13. Unlucky for some. Now, if you need to know where the bar numbers are, if you look at the start of each line on a piece of music, there's always the bar number written at the start of each line. So at bar 13, the rhythm goes 
one and two and three and four. Now we're gonna need this rhythm for the tune that's coming up next week or the week after. So it'll go one and two and three and four. Now there's no dynamics written in this. However, I would advise you that you play the verses a bit quieter and the chorus a bit louder. That's kind of how most music goes. There are a few tunes where the chorus are quieter than the verse, but they're, they're few and far in between really. Great, let's get on with it. Without further ado, let's play this tune. Hello by Adele. One, two, three, four.
Fantastic. I hope you were able to play that with enough ease. Go back, play it a few times, make sure that you are getting these chord changes nice and smoothly. Thank you for sticking with me. Please do give the video a like and subscribe. I'm nearly up to a thousand subscribers as of this week, which is fantastic. I never really thought that it would do anything like that. These videos are for you guys, my students, primarily for you to go through with the work that we're doing in our lessons as well. If anybody wants to have a few lessons, I can do some lessons online, or I am still teaching privately here from my studio in Middlewich. If anybody wants lessons, get in touch. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next week.